Hi, I'm Tony from SparkFun. I work in the engineering department doing quality assurance and today we're going to talk about a new collaboration we're working on with the folks over at MathWorks. Uh, most of you guys are probably familiar with the little RedBot we have here. We have it assembled with the RedBot uh, motor driver board on top. Um, but what we're going to be showing you today is how you can actually program that uh, using MATLAB and Simulink instead of using the standard Arduino IDE. And if you guys are curious about any of that and you don't know how to do it, we have this awesome tutorial on our Learn site on getting started with the RedBot just as far as getting stuff assembled and such. The other website we're going to be talking about is MathWorks. For those of you who aren't familiar with MathWorks, they're a company that uh, developed the MATLAB and the Simulink software packages. Um, for those of you who like math, like me, they're really awesome. They're great for data visualization, matrix manipulations, um, data processing, all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, really cool program. Most of the time it's only going to be college students who are using it. They, um, they don't currently have an option for uh, student versions for non-students, but they are working on that. So hopefully that will be up and live soon. And we should have a link for you guys on the bottom of the screen here as far as where you can go for that. To get started, what we're going to do is I'm gonna go in and this is going to be something you'll have to install on your computer as far as getting started with MATLAB. You'll have to have the full MATLAB lab package installed which takes um, if you have a slow internet connection or a slow work computer uh, about two or three hours to get done you also need to download some stuff from the MathWorks website so just plan ahead for that while you're doing this so we'll go to all programs open up MATLAB mine says trial on here if you guys are using this for you know school or work or anything like that you probably won't have yours saying trial so just keep that in mind this is the MATLAB interface right here um, pretty standard buttons, new, open, all that kind of fun stuff. So um, this is your command prompt window here. If you want to run just the general Simulink library, you just type Simulink. Uh, you'll get this window open up here. Um, and this is basically all the libraries uh, for doing data visualization for programming. For anybody who's familiar with Scratch or ArduBlocks or any of those programs, this is kind of a different way to program uh, using things like that and they've got a lot of different uh, libraries available for computer vision systems, embedded coders. Um, they also have been working on an Arduino library, uh, just a general common Arduino library. So you can see this has a lot of the same functions that you find in the basic Arduino sketches such as analog input, PWM, servo write, all that kind of stuff. So check that out. Um, when you first open up the Simulink though, you will not have these libraries. So what you'll need to do is go to this resources tab here, go to add-ons, and click get hardware support packages. And it will open this up, you say install from the internet, and then it will ask you for these, and it will pop up with this window after you sign into a MathWorks account, so you will still need one of those. Um, but then it will give you this list of different support packages that they have available. Uh, and you can see they've got some really cool ones on here, Arduino, the Beagle board, um, the Raspberry Pi, so anybody who's been working with the Raspberry Pi, you can also take a look at that. But you just click Arduino. Um, I already have mine installed, so it says reinstall, but you just say next and go through the whole thing. And um, it'll download all of the Arduino support and install it in the proper location for MATLAB to work with it. What you will also need to do is download the RedBot Arduino library that our friends over at MathWorks have developed specifically for us for use with the RedBot. Um, and that will be available on their file exchange site and probably on our GitHub page too, but their file exchange site link should be at the bottom of your screen here. So if I open up my folder on here, uh, direct um, to the file path where the library is. Uh, this is something uh, I personally ran into a lot of problems with, so MATLAB gets really picky with the file path, so just make sure that you follow that carefully uh, to make sure you don't get any errors. When I open this up, I've got the SparkFun RedBot block library option here, uh, the RedBot library code, so this is the Arduino code that our engineer Mike has developed, so you'll have to make sure you download and install that, which is in the install instructions. Um, and then we've got an example of the gravity windup code. So just to show you guys what this looks like, this is the demo that we're going to be using. And so you can see this, this is what the programming environment looks like. So um, we've got 
our include redbot.cpp file here, just like you would have in your standard Arduino sketch. Um, and then we have each of these little blocks here, which tell the computer uh, what to do with the code. So this is no different than typing in different commands, you know, um, say calling and initializing the accelerometer, uh, setting up the motors, all the same stuff that you would do in your Arduino code, you're now doing in the Redbot, or in the MATLAB Simulink window. Um, and the library, if I can get to that, there we go. Um, so the general library for that is going to look like this. If you go to your Simulink library browser and you click on the SparkFun Redbot block library, you've got options for the bump sensor, which is this little guy. So uh, you guys are getting a preview of that. It'll be out soon. The accelerometer, uh, the motors, the line sensor array, and then the two other explanation folders or files of explanation of how to install everything, how to run it, and then the include redbot.cpp. So what this demo is basically showing is this is initializing the Arduino, the Redbot library. Um, it is then initializing the accelerometer and starting communication with the Redbot on there. And then it's going between a simulated accelerometer and the actual accelerometer. It's doing a lot of fun math manipulation of those values together. And then it's scaling that down. Oh yeah, we can scroll, make that a little easier for you guys. Um, it's then rotating everything, making sure that all the data is in the proper format. Uh, MATLAB's strength is that it works off of matrix math, and it is really, really good at matrix math, but it also limits how you can process some of the data, so it does need to make sure all of the numbers are in the correct format. And then it sends that uh, acceleration to the motors as a velocity value. So basically what it's going to say is that if there is some acceleration monitored in the uh, Z direction, then the motors will either speed up or slow down. To upload this, we're going to show you how quick and easy that is. Uh, we'll go to Run on Target Hardware, Options, and it's going to pull up this window here, uh, and we will make sure that we set the target hardware to Arduino Uno. Um, you can do it to other boards too, like your Mega, if you have a Mega on your red bot instead, so keep that in mind. And then we gotta check our COM port as well. So again, same thing as programming in the Arduino IDE. Uh, check our baud rate, make sure all of that is set, and then we say apply, okay. And then we'll hit this button right here, which if you hover over it, it should say deploy to hardware. So if we hit that, it's going to do a little processing here and thinking and compiling of the code and then it will upload it to our Redbot. So now it's model successfully deployed to Arduino Uno. If you do have any errors, any compilation errors, um, it'll show up here and it'll pop up a little window telling you specifically what the errors are. So again, just like the Arduino IDE, it's pretty user friendly as far as that goes. I've got my Redbot flat. If I tilt it up, it's going to wind up the speed of the motors. And if I tilt it back down, it's going to slow them down. So you can see that's the code that we just uploaded. So it's taking that acceleration value and then it's processing that as a speed to the motor. So as I tilt it up, it's going to speed it up. And as I tilt it down, it should slow it down. This is a demo of how to show that you can program the Redbot using uh, MATLAB and Simulink. Um, and we are going to be working with them hopefully to get more demo codes up for more boards, uh, more functionality for the Redbot and other tools as well. So uh, if you guys are teaching classes or using you know, MATLAB or the Redbot in class, these are a few more options of what you can do with them. So thanks for watching.